Have you heard about the self-driving cars in Forza Horizon 5? Well, you're looking at one right now. This car is driving completely on its own, and you can do it too. And it's actually great. It drives better than I do. So much so that it's able to earn three stars on the speed trap on the map that I was struggling to get with all of my cars, including this one. It did like, I think, 56 kilometers higher than I could do on my own. So the way this works is when you go to your settings in your game, you can go to the difficulty setting and you can actually change a few things here, like the braking, you can change all the way to the left to assisted braking, the steering on auto steering, traction control you can put on, and you can also put stability control just below that on as well. And you have your shifting on automatic. The only downside to this is that you earn less credits, which is kind of funny since you can actually just play the game without playing. All you need to do now is actually get like an elastic band or, or band that you put over your controller to hold in the driving key. This will actually let you just accelerate the whole time while the car is doing automatic braking, stability control, and also steering. Like right now, I'm doing nothing. They're, they're, like It's driving itself, right? Now this does factor into the car's like handling control because if you're using something like the Jesco, which goes up like, like really, 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 really fast on its own, which is great too, but this car in particular is kind of bad with turning. So you want to have a specific car for specific races or specific AFK self-driving racing. And you want to use cars like this one over here. Now this is a Lamborghini. It is the Sesto Elemento Forza edition with a skills boost. It costs 2.75 million credits. And it's pretty much the only car that has a 10 in speed, 10 in handling, 10 in acceleration, 10 in launch, and 10 in braking. It just sucks at off-road though. But it's great to control in every other aspect of the game. Though make sure when you do buy the car, you go into it, into the upgrade section, and you go into the find tuning setups here. And you're gonna go select one that is, you know, really good for the car to make it go even Foster. I'm using this one over here if you're curious about which code to use. The craziest thing about this is that you can actually do races like this as well. You go into a solo race here and you can actually just set it up, just pick your car and get ready to, to race. And once you start, you just put the elastic band on the accelerate control, even with the other racers here. Like I've won a few races just laughing, watching the screen while eating a bowl of ice cream. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm like the best driver in this game. And I don't even use my hands, my feet, or even my controller. <laughs> like, dude, this is nuts. Like, just look how crazy this is. Uh, it's it's kind of, like, broken and, and, like... But it's also, like, fun to, like, watch. Like, I like watching it drive. Because when I drive, I drive, like, trash. But when he drives, or it drives, it drives like a god, dude. It does things with my cars that I cannot do myself. And... It's kind of mesmerizing to watch too. But if you are using a track or a race that is like off-road or something, you're going to want to use the applicable vehicle because an off-road vehicle like with the Sesto is not going to work. You want a vehicle that's actually designed for the track it's going on. And actually the slower the car is, like if it's an A-grade car or even like a D-grade car, like somewhere around there, C-grade, B-grade, you know, as long as it's like the best in its category and it's going to be faster than the opponents, you can have it on self-drive. It will take turns way better than a car that's going to try to take the turn at like 400 kilometers per hour because it's obviously going to hit the like the gravel and it's going to spin out a bit. But if you're using a slower car, it's going to still win the race. It's just going to do it at a like a slower pace, which is pretty neat. And that's all I have to show you in today's video about making a self-driving car or using the self-driving feature in Forza Horizon 5. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.